All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're doing an oil change on this here 2020 Rogue Glide Special. This is going to be the 5K oil change, so it's just a one hole oil change, not all three. But I wanted to walk you guys through it, show you which hole is the right one, no pun intended. And we are going to get her all done and ready so that she can be ridden another 5,000 miles. Let's do it. All right, guys, to be able to do this job, you're going to need a couple tools. You're going to need this Harley Davidson oil filter wrench. You'll know it's Harley because of the superior build quality. Just kidding, it's because there's a Harley Davidson symbol on there. Then you'll need your good old trusty 5.8s. You'll need your 3.8 wrench, an extension that sticks into this guy right here. You'll need some kind of paper or a funnel. This will be more apparent in a minute. And then you'll need another trusty Harley Davidson service thing. It is a oil pan that's low profile that fits under the bike. Uh, you'll need five quarts of your Amsoil synthetic. I go with Amsoil and I'll show you why. Let's check it out. So I figured let's do something different with this bike. Let's go ahead and go with the uh, Harley Sin 3, see how it runs, right? All right, let's see what this looks like. And this isn't a typical 5,000 mile service interval. It's actually four because your first service is at 1,000. So let's go ahead and see what this oil looks like. See that shit? How black that is that's up to 4,000 miles and get this I actually burned through a half quart I had to fill this up after 3,000 miles that's unacceptable I know color isn't a way to judge oil you know like obviously there's scientific measurements other than color let me show you something this bike has got 18,000 miles on it so this oil has 3,000 miles let's look here how blonde is that oil so that's Amsoil versus Sin 3 for you. Pretty blonde still. I know it looks low, it's because this bike is stance, so it's lifted, so the dipstick is on the wrong side of the lift, so it leans further over and makes it not look level. Whatever. All right, so let's get started with the gold change. You're gonna need to undo this hole. Don't forget this one, I did it once, and the whole thing overfilled, spilled everywhere. It was not a fun day. The next one you're gonna do is the middle one. Of course, mine's disgusting because I've done so many oil changes. Doesn't really matter though, you're gonna throw this shit out anyway at your local uh, auto zone or whatever auto store you go to. I'll slide this guy right here. Boop. All right, most important thing, don't pull out the wrong hole. Let me show you guys which one is the right hole for the oil. See that one that is facing forward? I will stick a bit on it with my left hand, hopefully. Boop. That one is the motor oil. The other two are the primary and transmission. Don't drain those or you'll have a dry trans. Not a good thing. Okay. A couple last things before we drain the oil. Number one, you wanna make sure your bike is hot. I just drove this thing to the dealership. That's why all the oil that I'm gonna be using still in the bike and number two always crack your dipstick so that you have room for the air to get out while you're draining you don't have to take it all the way out just make sure it's cracked don't need that much you just don't want to create a vacuum so that the oil doesn't actually drain all right let's see if i can get an angle for you guys boom hopefully we don't have oil shooting all over my gopro but we're gonna get this sucker off lady huh <laughs> who's that all right one thing that's super important when you're doing oil changes always check your plugs they got a little magnetic tip on them 
so they attract any kind of you know wear and tear on your motor this one's looking real clean actually so it's a good sign normally the motor won't have any the transmission will have a little bit and the primary will have the most that's all okay primaries have the clutch in them and those are meant to wear but the motor you don't really want any except for on your first change so always give that a look all right next up to an oil change is you're going to want to take out that oil filter which is in front of your motor this is the shifter side which is the left side of the motor the oil filter is located right there you can see it every single day it's not hidden I forgot to mention earlier you're gonna need to buy one of the super premium black oil filters from Harley Davidson to be able to complete this install so yeah let's get to it first thing that I always do I talked about the piece of paper earlier that's a V Harley makes a product for this that actually fits right under your oil filter so that you don't spill any oil during this process I prefer to make things difficult and save $20. So, there you go. That keeps your oil from spilling all over your bike. You need to move your oil pan accordingly. So I actually capped up the oil under there. No drips, clean cement. We're gonna make sure that this oil goes exactly where I want it to go. So, let's go ahead and get the oil filter wrench onto the Harley. All right, so I got it cracked in there. Let's see what happens so you guys can watch what happens when the oil comes out. I bet you the time I do this on camera, it's not going to come out the way I want it to. Alright, it's loose enough to do by hand. Boop. Let's see what happens. Oh, see? Going down the paper. Perfecto mundo, dude. Right on to hand. This avoids getting your Harley all dirty because everybody pays the big bucks for the clean Harleys. Side note, this oil filter comes off and it will be heavy and filled with hot oil. Turn it upside down on your oil pan. Hopefully you guys can see in there. But as you can see, it's gonna leak a little bit of oil even after you take the filter off and get mostly oil out of there. It's almost impossible to keep it from getting a, like a little bit of oil on the motor just pressure wash it after or take it to a washing shop and get it done it's not too hard but anyway we're going to get into how to install the new super premium oil filter so you got your oil filter you got your choice of oil okay you got your oil you stick your finger in it stick your finger in it get a little bit oily Go ahead and get that gasket. You don't want to do this with a dry gasket. I always do it with a wet one, makes it easier to put on. Makes the mating surface a little bit more uh, pliable, as they would say. A little bit easier to screw on easier. And then what we do, we take our oil. We put a little bit of oil in the filter. You can look in here and see how much I put in. Not a ton. And what I like to do is rotate that filter because it's, you know, paper or cotton or whatever in there. You want to saturate it before you try to run a hot engine. So make it so there's the least amount of time before the oil gets refiltered and recycled through the motor so that the filter does not have to break in along with the new oil. You know what I mean? All right, now with your new filter, I want to switch to the right hand for you guys filter take it in right here and don't put too much in here because this is where you would lose it if you put a lot in you go and find the threads and you screw it back in there by hand Ooh, I kind of ding this one up bummer dude screw it by hand for a little bit by the way my motor is hot so this is not the most comfortable feeling in the world but yeah it's what we do for our Harleys Alright guys, well this is going to go on the list of annoying stuff that happens when you work on your own bikes. So it goes down here. As I was trying to screw those things on, I realized the threads weren't catching and the threads are a different size. I know it's a fisheye, but really you put them close together, you can tell one's the wrong size. So, we're going to head to Harley. Alrighty guys, we're back at it again. Now we got the super premium 5 black oil filter the one we had before was the just the super premium as you can see 
So I guess what happened was Harley shipped the dealership uh, the V-Rod oil filters in the same box as the M8 oil filters. And as you can see from the outside, they look the same and the boxes look almost identical, but the thread count is different. So once again, from the top with Feely, we stick it right on there. Rotate a little bit by hand. Make sure that your wrench is on righty tighty. Give it a couple of turns. As you can see, I'm not grabbing by the end of the wrench, I'm grabbing by the head. And just get it snug. And Bob's your uncle. So that is how you install an oil filter. Make sure you don't snug it up too much because what happens is when the oil heats up in the motor, it creates a little vacuum and it pulls it on there even tighter. So if you snug it super tight and you try to get it on the next time, it'll be super hard and you'll end up stripping the... Uh... All right guys, now obviously the last thing you're gonna wanna do is refill the motor with some oil. I recommend doing four quarts first, maybe doing a quarter of the last one. It takes four and a half quarts, so you know, four and a quarter, get it running hot, and then check it. I'll show you guys how to do that, but first, let's go ahead and fill that oil. All right guys, lastly, I'm gonna show you how to check your oil. So you wanna be in these dotted lines when you have the oil in there and the bike is hot and has been running. It says on there, check screwed in and check hot. So one says full vehicle upright, that's if you have a wheel chalk. One says full on jiffy stand, that's when you have the kickstand. So you're gonna wanna run it for a bit to get that oil circulated all through the motor because there's a lot of places for oil to go in these M8s. So you wanna be in that where it says add court, you wanna be in those dotted areas when it's on the jiffy stand and the bike is hot. Do not measure it right away and figure that you're good. This oil has got to go everywhere, including like the radiators, the oil filter, the heads, everywhere. So if you check it right away, you're probably going to think you're overfilled. Trust me, you're not. All right, guys, after some troubleshooting, we got it all buttoned up and good to go. Thanks for sticking through. We got this thing all wrapped up. Oil change is all good to go. We're good for another 5,000 miles. If you like content like this, how-tos, riding videos, anything Harley-Davidson, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.